You'll need a face mask if you're hitting the gym or taking a fitness class these days. But how do you know which mask is best? Doreen Gensler is working for your health. She spoke to a sports medicine physician from MedStar Health to break down the basics when it comes to exercising during a pandemic. A lot more of us are going indoors now to, uh, to exercise. We're going into the gym. We're off of the bicycle outside and moving inside, but we're still wearing masks in a lot of cases. What do you recommend as the best kinds of masks to wear for sports? Well, I think the first and most important thing is that we should be wearing masks, right? So all the things we've been doing all along, trying to maintain our physical distancing and wearing the mask and face covering applies even more so once we move indoors. Are there some fabrics that are better than others when it comes to breathability when you're exercising? We need to be particularly cautious about the ones that have an exhalation valve on it. Remembering that my mask protects you and your mask protects me, that exhalation valve protects no one. So we want to make sure we're wearing a mask that's full and complete. It, it's hard to breathe with masks when you're working up a sweat. What, what do you do about that? So masks can make it feel like it's a little bit harder to breathe. It is important that they fit snug to the face. If they don't fit snug to the face, air is going to escape around them and that almost defeats the purpose of wearing them. If they get wet and soggy, we should replace them with a new one. So it probably makes sense to bring a couple different masks with you to the gym so that if you do get sweaty, you can swap out one for another. And recognize that this may mean we moderate our fitness activities just a little bit. It's going to be hardest during the most vigorous cardiovascular activity. So maybe we just step that down a little bit, but we can still weight train. We can still do a lot of those fitness activities that we love. Lots of people are, are marketing masks specifically, claiming that they're better for sports and, and active people. Have you seen anything that you recommend about those? You know, I don't think we have enough data yet, right? Physicians, scientists, we like data, we like evidence. I don't think there've been enough head-to-head -head competitions between these to say that one is better than another. I think the best mask is the one that you'll wear. It came up for me this morning uh, with tennis. Uh, we're, we're moving indoors and we're gonna be required to wear masks indoors playing tennis. What well, it seems kind of extreme when you're in a big facility and you're, you're there's wide social distance. I love the idea of playing tennis inside. I think tennis is the perfect social distancing sport because we do have the distance between players. Mm -hmm. I think that being in that habit of wearing a mask though, especially because we do come up to the net from time to time, because we do change over side to side, we do sit down next to each other uh, sometimes at the break. I think that masking is just a good practice overall. This is one of those situations where more cautious is probably better than being less cautious. It's hard to wear a mask when you're doing strenuous exercise. So I think as much as we can, getting out on those trails, biking or walking where we're outside, not around other people, it's okay to take the mask off in those settings. 